Stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon, I'm doing a peek at your person, love, tarot, reading, all right? So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross-watch. Don't force anything to fit, okay? It is a general reading. Um, Capricorn, also, I'm doing a 10K giveaway, so stick around till the end for details about that, all right? Let's get into it. I'm going to do your overall energy, your person's overall energy, their current energies, blockages, how they feel about you, potential outcome, obstacles, advice, all the fun stuff. So stay tuned. All right. So Cap, you have round and round and by the book. I feel like you're trying really hard to do things the right way, um, not be one-sided, not be selfish. I feel like you're really trying to keep things in line, stay grounded, keep your focus, but you feel like you're in like a, you're stuck in a cycle, right? Your tires are spinning, but they're not gaining any traction here. Um, could be false starts in this relationship or connection. Just things aren't changing. It's the same old song and dance round and round. All right. Um, could be a karmic cycle, but we'll get into that. Your person has all that glitters and milk and honey. So all that glitters isn't gold. I feel like your person is wearing a false self mask. Um, they may not be completely honest or truthful with themselves or with you. Um, whether it's about feelings for you um, or who they are, maybe their true colors are coming out. But they see this connection as milk and honey. It's sweet to them. They find it as like basically like they struck gold, all right? Um, so they see the value, they see the worth in this connection. Underlying energy, we have unfinished symphony and here and now. So I feel like there's like a stuck, stagnant energy right now, all right? Like you're on a break, like Ross from Friends would say. Um, just kidding, anyway. So I feel like either you or your person or both might feel like there could be a new beginning on the horizon here. There's an egg in both of these pictures. Eggs are usually a new beginning, the birth of something new or something fertile. All right, so let's get into your person's current feelings or current energies. What's going on? Capricorn's person. What do we got for Capricorn's person? In love. Strength, Leo energy. All right. Are they trying to find some kind of confidence, courage, strength? Could be dealing with a Leo. Doesn't have to be. Two of Wands. All right. They're trying to find the courage to make a decision. All right. Um, or they have made one and it took a lot of strength for them to do that. Page of Cups could be an age difference between the two of you. Wow, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Your person, they want a new beginning. They want a stable, solid, in love, romantic new beginning here. All right. But I feel like it's either a connection that didn't really mature into anything or this person was acting a little bit immature emotionally. Maybe they're a little bit over emotional. All right, Capricorn, you don't really know how to handle that. <laughs> I feel um, when it comes to emotions of other people, I feel like it shuts you down a little bit and maybe you just didn't know how to handle it and you're trying to do things the right way. Um, I feel like your person is very protective of this connection. They're very protective of this connection. All right, let's see what's blocking this. What is blocking this with Capricorn? Hanged man, Pisces energy, two of swords. Someone's, someone's not seeing things clearly. Capricorn, keep in mind when I say your person, it could be your energy, vice versa. You can flip it, reverse it, whatever. Um... I feel like you may not be seeing things clearly. And I'm only saying that because Queen of Pentacles came up and this is your energy with the Two of Swords and the Hanged Man. So, mm, Cap, you could actually be blocking this connection by not being completely open-minded, not seeing a different perspective. I'm not siding with your person in any kind of way because I feel like they were kind of being a little bit not themselves or not showing their true colors and maybe that came out. 
or there's a need for you to gain some kind of clarity or a different perspective here. But let's see. You could be dealing with another Capricorn as well or a Taurus Virgo for some of you. What else? What else? Eight of Cups is being blocked. I don't think this is over, you guys. I feel like neither of you can walk away from this. And that's why Unfinished Business or Unfinished Symphony came up. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Things could have moved too fast in this connection. And it didn't have time to get that stability, that growth there. Again, there could be an age difference between the two of you. Page of Wands. I feel like there was a lot of there or there is a lot of chemistry, attraction, passion, desire. Maybe the sex is really good. I feel like when it comes to that, that part of the connection is good. When it comes to emotions and stability, I feel like there's a little bit of a wishy-washy, uneasy, un, ungrounded energy there. Let's see, how does this person truly feel about you? Three of Pentacles. They want to work with you. They want to be a team. They want to collaborate and be on the same page. Seven of Swords in reverse. They don't want to have any sneaky behavior, manipulations, lies, deception, none of that. They don't want that. Or they see that you are like not about that. And Capricorn, you're you're not. You guys are more, you, you guys are funny. You're awesome. You, I love Capricorn energy. I'm with a Capricorn. Love Capricorns. I feel like this person knows that you're like a no bullshit person. You guys are very good at reading people. Personalities, energy, intuition, all of that. You guys are very good at that. And I feel like this person knows that and knows that they can't bullshit you. They may have tried. Yeah, the High Priestess, Scorpio Pisces energy, the High Priest. Wow. Nine of Wands. They could see that you have your walls up right now. You're a little bit guarded. Yep. Like I said, when it comes to them being very emotional or, you know, crying or... or sharing a lot of emotions, you guys do kind of shut down and put your guard up because you, you're you not, that's not your energy. You guys are very more like, you know, stability and focused. And so they see that your, your guard is up a little bit. I feel like if you're, there's no contact, they are watching you online, social media. You guys might be having like small little text message conversations here. Nothing too drawn out or too big. They do see a higher level of commitment with you. They do see that. For some of you, you could be married to this person already. Um, but they see you as marriage material. But they know. They know that you are super intuitive and you're not going to deal with any drama, bullshit, nothing. They know that. But they want to work together with you. Yeah, look, Aries energy. They want to be the fool. They want to take that leap of faith. They want you to take that leap of faith. Well, let's see. What's the potential outcome here for Capricorn and this person? Keep in mind, it could change. Everyone has free will. You could change your mind. They could change their minds. All right, there's just a snapshot of what it could be. Potential outcome for Capricorn and their person. The moon, Cancer Pisces energy. Something could be happening on the full moon. Doesn't have to be. I feel like there's something unknown, something hidden that could be brought to light. Four of Pentacles, yeah. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the star, Aquarius energy. Hmm. Could be dealing with a water sign or Aquarius. Could be anybody, you guys. What you don't see coming is that this connection is actually a wish come true. Yeah, this person's not letting you go. This person's not, they're not letting you go. 
you're a wish to them, they're a wish to you. There's hope and faith and healing here. What else? I feel like you don't know this because now this person saw that it shut you down when they shared emotions that they're they're holding back on telling you how they feel. We have six of cups. You may have known this person from childhood or long, long ago. But I feel like you're both like reminiscing about each other, looking back at old pictures, memories, photos, all of that. What else? Potential outcome. Nine of Wands. Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. Yeah. Things are going to balance out here. There, there's a lot of conflict, I feel, going on mentally or externally between the two of you. Some disagreements, disputes, chaos, tit for tat, that kind of a thing. But I feel like it is going to balance out because I do feel like you both want this and you're both willing to fight for this connection here, Cap. So... I also feel what you don't see coming is there could be some swift, fast movement here, but I feel like it's going to create victory and success with that six of wands. It's like you're both, you're both going to be like charging towards each other, <laughs> like an epiphany is going to happen or a wake up call. And I feel like this is going to balance out and come back together. And I see victory and success. Use your own discernment. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just saying I do see a wish coming true here for this connection if you want it. All right. What's the biggest obstacle? What's the biggest obstacle for Capricorn in this connection? Biggest obstacle. We'll get into that right after this quick message. Thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading. It is not over. I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are going to be given out and I am so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back and into Biggest it. obstacle, possibilities and the dream. Yeah, bringing that, and I wanted to say that with that three of pentacles here with how they feel about you. Three of pentacles is teamwork, collaborating, having the same goal, working together, you know, as a team. It's also taking those visions, thoughts, fantasies, dreams, and turning them into a reality, into the 3D, right? The biggest thing to overcome is the dream and possibilities. Seeing through the, you know, the little things, seeing past that. I do see strength in this connection. I do. I see a new beginning. I see it lasting. I see it being a wish fulfillment, all right? But overcoming those blockages or having your walls up, your guard up and not seeing things fully, truly, clearly. And Cap, I feel like I am kind of coming down on you in this reading and your person's not perfect. I'm just saying like their intention is good. It's pure. I do see that. Um, so that's why I'm kind of like, all right, you know, this has potential. All right. So if you're wondering why, that's why. I don't see them being toxic or ma malicious or manipulative. I don't, I see them being a, a pure genuine person where there's just maybe disagreements and not being on the same page. All right, let's see. What else? What else do we have for Capricorn? Pause. Yeah, inaction, calmness, step back, wait for the sign. Yep. Regret, remorse, life regrets, loss, start making empowered choices. All right, so there could be some feeling of regret, sadness, loss, remorse. All right, in this connection, sacred space, altar, prayer, candles, commune with your own divinity. Follow your intuition. 
I feel like, you know, go within, do some reflecting, journaling, whatever it is you got to do. Walks in nature, work, projects. You guys like those side hustles um, or those hobbies, you know. So indulge yourself in that to clear your head and, and listen to your intuition. All right. Observe. Yeah. Social media, fascination, curiosity, watching from a distance. Look, journal. <laughs> oh, and compromise. That has a lot to do with this, you guys. Compromise, mutual understanding, flexibility, give and take brings rewards and observe. Yeah, so they're watching you. You're watching them. But it all really, it does. It comes down to compromising. All right. What else do we have for Capricorn? The Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transform, growth. All right. There's going to be a transformation here. Palm tree, stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, flexibility, sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, out of focus, and healing heart, healing from heartbroken, or sorry, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. And then we have addiction here, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block restraint. Some of you could be dealing with that. All right, which is why your walls are very much up. All right, um, for some of you, for others of you, it, I, I, addiction didn't really come through, but both of them came together at the end. So for some of you, it's a side note, you could be dealing with that. All right, uh, what would this person like to say to you if they could, Capricorn, what would they like to say if they could? I couldn't handle your words when you were upset with me. It was too painful. Yep, sometimes you guys know how to, mm. <laughs> I'm haunted by us. I didn't follow my heart and now I don't know how to let you go. Yeah, see, they're not done yet. Mm -mm, they're not done. All right, Capricorn, that is what 